Hello YouTube, Buzz here, and this is Copperhead Strike. And Copperhead Strike is the free new roller coaster, launched roller coaster that's been included as the part of the patch for Planet Coaster 1.11 as of today. So, as you can see, it's a pretty smooth coaster, and it's based on a real life counterpart, but it also includes new music as well. Hello folks and welcome back to Planet Coaster. It has been a while since I put out any Planet Coaster content but I still enjoy this game very very much and today there has been a brand new patch and in that patch you will get this new roller coaster absolutely free of charge. This is the Copperhead Strike launched roller coaster available to all players as of today April the 16th and as you can see this is a very smooth roller coaster. It comes with its own musical track and its own signage uh, and everything else that you would expect with a new ride. So I'm really looking forward to getting this in my parks. I'm sure many of you guys are as well. So you can go ahead and download this from, uh, from Steam as of right now. So this is Copperhead Strike as I've said. Uh, and although this is absolutely free, it is not the only addition to be included in today's patch. There is also a paid for DLC for those of you that want a little bit extra. Known as the Classic Ride Collection. And this is going to include... Uh, a number of new rides, as a matter of fact, another nine rides on top of this one, and I'm going to go through those with you as well. So here we have Sky Temple, this is the first ride I'm going to be showing you today out of the DLC content, and this is a kind of observation tower, which is really interesting actually, I really do like the design of this one. Obviously, theme-wise, this is going to fit perfectly into any Asian architecture or themed areas of your park. Uh, but you can see the way this works, it's actually in two sections. I don't think I've ever seen a ride blueprint that comes in two different sections like this. So you've got the actual queuing area and the loading area where people will come and board the ride. And then you've got the actual mechanical part which holds the arm, which lifts the ride up into the air so that your guests can get a good view of whichever part of the park you plonk this thing down into. Now I'm not exactly sure how high this goes. Uh, but it looks like it might go to about 150 feet into the air. So your guests will be able to get a whopping view of the rest of the park. Uh, obviously in my case there's not a whole lot for them to look at. But fortunately they're only currently made out of plastic or whatever it is these dummies are made out of. So yeah, this is the first one, Sky Temple. Next up then, we actually have two rides that's really been advertised as one. And they are the Rising Raptor. And also the Golden Eagle. And the difference between these is that the Rising Raptor has the same uh, people cars, people carrying cars, vehicles, whatever you want to call them, throughout the ride. Whereas the Golden Eagle actually has a variation. So it has two of those uh, same car uh, arm gondola things there. But also a sit down form where you face outwards with your feet dangling on the other two arms. So pretty cool. You have a variation there as to which you might want to build in the park and the other good thing about this ride as well is that you can actually adjust it despite it's only being a flat ride it's not a roller coaster uh, you can adjust the height of it either making it lower or increasing the height and you can increase this quite substantially uh, let's have a look let's just plonk it up okay so the height is currently at 60 meters I believe which is close to 200 feet and what these rides basically are are thrill rides that spin you around all over the place, probably make you feel sick. Uh, but for those that can handle it, look like a heck of a lot of fun, no doubt. Yeah, I don't think I'd be uh, in too much of a hurry to, oh goodness me, to get on this thing. Yeah, good on you if you could handle that. I think the uh, one where you sit down would be a little bit more comfortable. Even though the speed of these things are absolutely crazy. Oh, that's insane. That would probably snap your neck, surely. Oh, maybe if I actually slowed it down. I just realised I had it on high speed then. So, yeah. This is uh, a little bit more realistic now. I was actually just going to think to myself, is that a bug? And then I've just completely noticed that I must have accidentally knocked it up onto high speed. So, this is perhaps a little bit more... Uh, Realistic, maybe I could ride this now. So this would certainly be fun, I assure you, being 200 feet in the air in this kind of capsule. 
shaking all over the place. It'd be quite terrifying. Make no mistake about that. So there we have it then, guys. The Rising Raptor and the Golden Eagle. Next up, we have the Free Flyer. And as you can see, quite a traditional fairground ride, this one. So fun for all the family, no doubt. I'm not sure if there's any pivoting on this. There could very well be. But I think this is mostly just, uh, as I say, a family ride. Sit, sit under the umbrella. Have some fun. And again, a great addition for any of you that have been building traditional amusement style theme parks or fun fairs. This will certainly fit right in. And of course, as with all the other rides, you can adjust the colours to the theming as you require it. And yep, there is a pivot on it once it manages to pick up speed. And all of a sudden, this ride takes on a whole new uh, definition, doesn't it? Whole new meaning. Wow, that would be a lot of fun. Alright, let's move on, shall we? Next up, we have the interesting Swift Drifters. And it's got a bit of a wartime feel to it with this music, hasn't it? So this is uh, not really a track ride, though it does kind of look like it's running on a track, but you can't adjust it or anything. It almost uses a similar technology to the chairlift, doesn't it? The way it's kind of pivoted on this chain. And uh, I guess you get a bit of a thrill as well as you swing around at each end there. So once again, a nice little fun ride. I'm sure your guests, your Planko guests will appreciate it very much. And since it's quite flat as well, uh, you can have quite a bit of fun, I'd imagine, theming it with various buildings and huts or whatever it is that you want to build around this thing. So, maybe have a bit of a bit of a themed area with the ride at the culmination of it. A story area. And of course, you can adjust this uh, in terms of its colours and soundtrack and whatnot to your liking so that it fits in with your park. Okay, let's move on. The gondola is a variation of the chairlift and one of which I'm sure many of you are familiar with if you've been to various theme parks that contain this ride. Uh, here in the UK we have Alton Towers which uh, is probably the closest to me that contains a variation of this particular skylift type uh, gondola ride. And this is a tracked ride so you'll be able to find it under tracked rides and guests will use it to move from one area of the park to another so they won't judge it in the same way that they judge your thrill rides or family rides. And as you can see, as expected from the team at Frontier, this is just a very smooth, beautiful experience that just pretty much is going to make many theme park. You know, how often you go to a theme park and see the chairlift above you and it just, you know, it, it, it's how it should be, isn't it? Well, your theme park certainly can be now as well. And the only thing that I've noticed makes it a little bit unrealistic, it doesn't break down enough. I tell you what, I don't think I can get on one of these things in real life and have it not stop for about 5-10 minutes halfway around where you just feel completely stuck and helpless. But fortunately for our Planko guests, this thing can break down of course, but it seems nowhere near as often as it does in real life. And you can also use this as a closed circuit track so that you can join it back up with where it starts. Uh, or you can have it as, you know, just one long stretch going from one side of the park to the other. And the... Uh, gondolas will just swing around at the end of the station and then make their way back again. In terms of the actual track variations, uh, you do have some choice. As you can see here, I've tried to include a few options for you to check out. You can raise and lower the track pieces. Uh, there's the station piece just there. And you can also turn the actual cables as well. The special pieces you can include to turn the uh, corners if you want to. If you want to just create a different angle as you're moving through the park. So there we have it. This is really good because it's a free-flowing uh, system, as they are in real life, just in case you want to look at the underside there. <laughs> good luck. So, which means that the actual gondolas themselves won't stop when they enter the station. They'll keep moving slowly as people board and disembark. So just a really, really nice track ride here, and one I'm certainly going to be including in my parks going forward. Next up we have the uh, Machina Classica 
And as you can see, this is another track drive, one of which is going to require heavy theming to be implemented correctly. Uh, but for those of you that wanted this type of track ride with these old style classic cars as the vehicles, well, you're in luck. Frontier had you covered. So another option to add to the roster of the current uh, track rides that you know require theming and whatnot. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create and downloading all those creations from the Steam Workshop uh, to include them in my part because I'm just not good enough to make, you know, really, really awesome uh, themed rides in, uh, on my own. I'm just not that artistic enough, unfortunately. But I do love stealing all of your guys' hard work, of course. All right, then. So next up, we have the... Uh, well, it'd be a surprise. Yeah, and the surprise is a water ride. Okay, this is known as the Armada, and it is classed as another track ride, but it's really a thrill slash water ride. So as you can see, you get to sit in boats of, uh, that hold up to 20, and they get dragged up this chain hill, which is actually specially created as you go through the construction menu. Uh, and then when you get to the top, you can of course uh, open up into your standard water section and there's other track pieces as well you can use which I've tried to include here uh, that I guess you're not uh, you know, limited to doing these at the top which is what I've done but if you want to create a more gentle ride you can open the track up into these wider sections you can just about see that from here I think uh, so you can take your guests through a nice jungle cruise perhaps or some other kind of uh, adventure that doesn't necessarily involve uh, thrills and drops but then for the end, of course, the big finale, that is going to be the case, no doubt, for many of these uh, rides. So once you're ready then, you can use the special drop construction option, which is what I've done here. And yeah, have fun with it, basically. So this is the Armada, Armada even. Get a little hold at the top there. Down we go not the steepest drop but a lot of fun no doubt and an opportunity to get soaked on a hot day of course and our next ride type is a roller coaster it's the interdimensional roller coaster and as you can see it's uh, got this spinning design to it and I'm using a ride blueprint called the high spin by the way which wasn't included with the DLC but I downloaded it from Steam so that's high spin by all means if you want to go ahead and download that yourself to support the author of it. But this one looks to be a lot of fun actually because a lot of these spinning coasters that you generally get in the vein of the wild mouse spinning coasters and what have you tend to be quite limited in terms of the tracks that you can build with them. Uh, but in this case I've got to say there's a lot of flexibility with the various things you can do. This is a nice track design actually. I uh, probably need to make it a little bit higher. Uh, as in me when I placed it so it didn't go into the ground a bit there but yeah I really do like this one and this will be a great family family slash thrill ride I'd imagine although with the various track elements you can build you can make this really you know quite a nauseating experience if you really want to do that to your poor Planko guests I'm sure many of you would not everyone would be that evil I'm sure uh, alright then folks so this is interdimensional and as you can see pretty awesome some nice smooth animations as we would expect. Finally we have the infinite coaster type and this is something I've just thrown together literally in less than 10 minutes so it's not a perfect track layout by any stretch of the imagination. I've hardly used the smoothing out at all but just to show you the ride itself. So this is very much uh, a Smiler style ride for those of you that know the Smiler from Alton Towers. It's got this kind of vertical lift followed by a more than vertical drop on the other side. So it's a special track piece you can use. And there's other many, many other multiple track pieces you can use as well. So this is a really, really versatile track uh, for this particular ride type. And, you know, you're going to have a heck of a lot of fun with all the different kinds of designs that you guys are just so fantastic at coming up with. And I'm really looking forward to uh, exploring the Steam Workshop in a few weeks time to see exactly the type of things that you guys are able to create with this one so no doubt we'll be getting the smiler recreations or perhaps uh, you know any of the other roller coaster types that are around the world that, uh, that are the same as this uh, but that's the one that I know being here in the UK of course uh, but yeah do let me know your thoughts of all these different ride types guys in the comments below and will you be purchasing the uh, classic collection rides collection pack for Planet Coaster, it's currently 7 dollars here in the UK, 
or $10.99, uh, €10 Euros 99, depending on which region you're purchasing from. But that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been helpful to you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.